Good morning, and welcome back to this month's Oakcrest Insight. I'm Ryan Niedert, president here at Oakcrest Capital. You know, I've been getting a lot of questions about this topic from clients, and so in today's episode, I want to talk about what impeachment could mean for the stock market. You can't seem to turn on any news channel these days without the impeachment proceedings dominating headlines. Last night when I was watching the news, it was two hours just on impeachment updates. What I care about is how will this impeachment impact the markets and your retirement assets, which is extremely difficult to address as I was preparing for this. Fortunately, U.S. constitutional classes like impeachments are rare events, and there's no definitive conclusion from these events. Andrew Johnson was impeached, but not convicted in 1868. Unfortunately, there's not much data from 150 years ago. We then have to wait until 1974 when impeachment proceedings began against Richard Nixon, but ended after he resigned. When the impeachment process against Nixon formally began through when he resigned, the S&P 500 dropped 13%. Bill Clinton was impeached in 1998, but acquitted in 1999. From the start of Clinton's impeachment in January of 98, through his acquittal in February of 1999, the S&P 500 gained 28%. The difference between these two periods was the economy, which was in two very different places in the 1970s and 1990s. What is going to ultimately happen with impeachment proceedings for Trump is unknown. But if you wanna know how the markets will react, we're better off paying attention to the economy rather than Washington headlines. Investors today seem less shocked by the possibility of impeachment and more concerned with the fundamentals of the economy, such as how are corporate earnings and how close are we really to a trade deal with China. Many managers that I have spoken to over the past few weeks believe that to the extent that President Trump is impeached but not removed from office, believe that the market will completely look past all of this political headline. The markets over the past few weeks have increased due to high earnings, Um, and a potential deal with China may be being done. The main takeaway I want you to get from today is that the focus for managers right now is on the economy and consumers. The Fed has promised to do whatever it takes to keep this expansion going. I hope this was helpful, as I know many of you have asked how impeachment is going to affect the markets, and we look forward to seeing you next time on Oakcrest Insight.